Hello guys, my name is Luke Mead and today in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use Zoom to run your webinars or seminars. Although Zoom is primarily an online video platform meant for business to business and small meetings, it is really popular and can be used for running small scale webinars and seminars. I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video with three simple steps. The first one is setting up your meeting on Zoom. Once you've set up the meeting and invited everyone, you're halfway there. The second thing is let's double check that your material for the webinar is compatible with Zoom and we can run it. And number three is you've got to go for it and simply get involved and I'm going to run you through the things you need to know when you're actually running the webinar on Zoom. Now the first step we're going to do is schedule our meeting. If you're new to Zoom, the way we do that is by hitting the schedule button, not the new meeting button. This is going to let us give it a name and fill out the rest of the information. In this case, let's call it test Zoom webinar. From here, we want to select the time and date. Notice that you've got to select the time zone here as well. So you want to make sure you get that right. So in this case, I might select the time to be the 1st of the 12th, 2021 at 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So just an hour seminar on this date. You'll notice the Zoom basic plan has a 40 minute time leading with three or more participants. So you will need to upgrade to the bigger Zoom platform if you are seeking to have more people than that. I'm going to double check that the time zone is in the right area and we're set to go there. Now you want to keep the meeting ID as generate automatically because if you don't, you have to use a personal one. If you want, you can have a passcode set. I recommend setting one and using something that's going to be relatable for the webinar to make it easier for people. In this case, we'll just call it test. You want to have the waiting room set to on. This means when your participants join the webinar, they're going to be set in a little hidden area. They won't be able to speak to anyone until you let them into the Zoom meeting, which is really important. So then when you start the Zoom meeting, you can let everyone in and away you go. You want your video to be on and you can have your participants on as well. You can then select down here if you want to have your Zoom meeting added to your calendars. If you're on Mac, you can have an iCal. If you're using Google Calendar, you can do that there. If not, you can just select others. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as Google Calendar and hit save. And that's how easy it is to schedule our Zoom meetings. If you want to have a look where it is, you can head back into your Zoom and head up to your meetings area and you can see there it is. There's your Zoom. If you want to invite people to this Zoom and send it to your participants, this is what you can send them. Simply a copy invitation and Google copies, the, you copy this and this is all they need. This link here and this passcode will get them into the Zoom. So here I am inside my Zoom meeting. Hello. And what you want to do is click share screen and make sure that you can share the screen that you want to show. So I quickly shared the screen and this is my material that I run for my presentations. And you want to make sure that you can accurately share this screen. You'll be able to tell that you're sharing the screen when this little box comes up here and you've got it going on. You want to test a few things and make sure it all works by quickly going and putting your presentation into presentation mode and just making sure that this is all running smoothly. So when you are in this presentation, you'll be able to see other participants in this box up here. They're names will appear here as well and you'll be able to run through and go through your slides and talk as you see fit and share this screen. Now there's a few other things we can use when we're doing these Zoom meetings. The second thing we want to have a look at is the chat. This is a really handy area to communicate with people. If people don't feel comfortable speaking up in the Zoom meeting then they're most likely going to feel comfortable typing out their messages here. So I recommend when you are running your Zoom meeting you have this box up while you're talking and got your content up so you can really talk through and communicate with everyone. Last but not least, the other panel we want to have a look at is the participants panel. So this is where you'll see all the list of the participants and you can invite people and you can mute people and adjust people as an admin in here. The reason you want to do that is when we have people join your Zoom meeting People won't become immediately into the Zoom meeting if you have the waiting room on, which we did in the settings. So what you'll see here is you have to admit people into the room. 
So when you're ready to start your Zoom meeting, all you've got to do is go bang, 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 and let the people in and away you go. Potentially what might happen as well during your Zoom meeting is that people will drop out and this means they're gonna to have to join back in. But because you have the waiting room set back on, you have to admit them. So it's really important that I recommend that you have these tabs open while you're doing your Zoom presentation because this is the best way to do it. So now guys, this information has equipped you of what you need to do your Zoom meeting. I just recommend you get out there and do it. It's not too hard. Once you have your scheduled Zoom meeting and you have your content and you run through and you can do this and your screen sharing works, then you're good to go. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe or comment below. Thanks so much guys. Keep well. Ciao, ciao.